Oh, up and over. Uh, is an area for Colin Munro, and he gets underway with a boundary here. Jeanette Khan was looking for a little bit of swing, uh, tried to pitch it up, was looking maybe for an outswinger to the left ender. Oh, there it is, right on cue. Waka Yunus has come good, and so is Afridi, more importantly, for Pakistan. Just a little bit of movement. It was more of a bounce, which did Walker. Perfect length and line, because what the batsman was trying to do was trying to move more toward offside and was trying to cover that swing, just poked at it, hands just away from the body, and an easy catch. Yeah, this will do a world of good to the young Shaheen Afridi. Wonderful balling. Good pressure. Four overs gone, 13 for one. Walker gone for one. And row! Oh, he just chops up a gear. Another boundary to Colin Munro. Ow, oh, are you kidding me? Beautifully set up. There's the fuller one. Baba Raz. Dig a hole. Oh, oh, you're right, Danny. You're kidding me. It was like that. The youngster putting the ball in a real good area and asking for a drive. Look at that. It's come so easy. He had ample time to catch that. And uh, that always happens, doesn't it? Drop catch, and then you try and swing another one. Better pumps you through cover for four. Yeah, that will hurt that youngster, Shine Shafridi. Oh, a lovely swivel. Yeah, it is a signature stroke from Williamson. There's his first boundary. Straight down the ground, using his feet. Sick of playing and missing. <laughs> he says, oh, I'll come at you. Oh, lovely slower delivery. Beautiful slower delivery. And out. Wonderful bowling from Shaheen. Will they review? Not sure. Interesting what call is it? Is it LBW or caught behind? Okay, ball goes in, pitching outside, impact in line, hitting. I have three reds, so I'm going to go back back on field to show up. Thank you. You're on screen, stay with your out decision. Thank you. The umpire and a pretty ordinary review from Colin Munro. I think he talked Kane Williamson into that. He certainly didn't hit it, and that is a poor review, just a wasted one for the team. Munro gone for 29, New Zealand 36 for two. Nicely pulled away for four. Little bit of length to work with, and Taylor pounced on it. He likes the cut shot. That's gone very quickly, and it will hit the fence. Yeah! And taken, gone. It was a half-tracker, and it's taken at mid-wicket. And that is what you get from leg spinners generally. They are there to provide you with a breather, with a breakthrough, and a bit disappointed that he's pulled that straight to mid wicket. He's gone for 27 and New Zealand are now 78 for three. It's a full toss, gets a rank full toss. Taylor does not miss out. Picks up a boundary. Yeah, pick the gap nicely. Oh, that's lovely. Really good from Latham. Came down outside the line of off stump, whipped it away into the vacant mid wicket area. On the charge. Roscoe, 49. And there we go. Little salute there, little half century. There's uh, his teammates. Applause. Take the applause. 40 second half century. Yeah, don't bother running. Poof. Roscoe Taylor. 
four runs by him. He gets a boundary, Latham. Single to finish the over, so seven from that over, including a boundary and a half century for Tom Latham. A very fine half century as well for the New Zealand wicketkeeper batsman. Four. Four for Ross Taylor. Close, very close indeed. What say you, umpire? Yes. Tossed up. Looked like it was turning back towards middle and leg stump. And Latham has missed. Shadab has struck. New Zealand at 208 for four. Ah! Oh, and that's out as well. That is out. Yes. Very first ball. That one looked plump. Shut up, Khan, on a hat trick. Henry Nichols, he goes for a golden duck. New Zealand now 208 for five. Yeah, yeah. Oh! oh, yes, Sissy, no, a little inside edge. A little inside edge. It was beautifully bold. Oh, yeah. ah! Is that gone? I think it is. Three and four. Straight through to first slip. The Grondon this time. New Zealand's innings crumbled on the crumbling on the back of a brilliant over from Shadab Khan. To Granholm now found, finds his way back to the pavilion for zero. New Zealand now 208 for six. Ah! Another one's gone. It's Taylor this time. Pakistan turning it around 360 degree. Incredible turn of events. It's gone all the way! Where did that come from? From Sodi's bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was beautifully handled. Short ball, I think he, he took him for granted. Bowling to a... To a tail end. And this was smacked. Really was a, a terrific shot. He had to beat the fielder at square leg, which he did. First boundary in ODI Internationals. That's big over the top. Is is it gone? Yes, another six. The dealing in sixes. Hassan Ali is at sixes and sevens. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, there you go, Rambo. Yeah, that's a much better option. And it is the end of Southie's little cameo. But uh, well bowled, Jane Afridi. Job well done, it's 30, 24 from just 19 balls. New Zealand, eight down for 252. Hello? Oh, you're joking! It's like shelling peas, says Janet Khan. I'll just whip around the fence and pluck this one. South has gone for uh, 20, played well, and New Zealand, nine down for 254. Oh! It's gone all the way! Holy schmoly, no wonder the batting coach Craig McMillan is chuckling away. And a bit of glove love from Lockie Ferguson to Trent Bolt. Finishes the innings in style. Uh-oh, that says it all from Mickey Arthur. <laughs> gold, gold, gold. 266 for nine then. Uh, Williamson and Munro got out in the 20s, but it was Ross Taylor batting with uh, Tommy Latham in that partnership of 130, turned it around, and then some nice little cameos after three wickets fell at 208. They needed Southie and Sodi to get together, and they did. And then Ferguson and Bolt at the end, and particularly Trent Bolt, who just uh, has flown in, has uh, hit the last ball for six to get the 266. Now that's beauty. Last inning he played Imam.
back here he scored 80 and he's uh, back in uh, in his groove looking really good beautiful timing oh, that'll do. off the pads i think angle it into the pads of Bakazaman. and i think it's just grazed the pads and then back onto the stumps and trent bolt has struck well that's a poor stroke That's not the zone where he wants to see the ball. First wicket, and a massive wicket for New Zealand. Pakistan, 8 for 1 after 2.2. Yeah! Oh, I don't know, I don't know, has it? Oh, the keen New Zealand here, he's followed it, has barbarism. If it's bounced just before the bat, that is an unbelievable catch. Ross Taylor, the man, he's had about a third slip, so it's a, a lucky position. I've, they've got to come upstairs, Wakar, but New Zealand are happy. Barbarazm looked a little surprised. Are they saying out? Yes, they are. Yep, I'm happy that's out. I'm going to go up onto the big screen. Yeah, the decision is out. The decision is out. Well, you heard it from Nigel Long. The decision is out. Surprised Babarazm first up with a wide one, and we'll have more look at this when we come back. But it is a brilliant catch from Ross Taylor, and huge, huge blow for New Zealand. Pakistan, eight for two. Yeah, last New Zealand uh, to take a one-day international hat-trick, Shane Bond, back in 2007 at Hobart against Australia. just to confirm it okay balls going through playing right through please right through yep gone past yep perfect there's definitely no bat i'm ready for ball tracking when you are thank you okay here comes ball tracking pitching in line impact in line hitting the wickets joel i'm back on field to you well, there it is trent bolt the third new zealander to take a one day international hat trick Danny Morrison against India, Shane Bond against Australia, Trent Bolt now against Pakistan. All sorts of trouble as Hafiz goes, eight for three. Nicely played, lovely back foot punch. And Shob Malik will pick up a boundary. That's the second boundary. Oh, almost carried. It went flat. This Ross Taylor has already picked up a great catch in the slips. Change of pace from Southie. I wonder if it does. Got excited. Excited. Oh, it does. Oh, it did carry. Would have been another cracker. I think you'd expect that, considering what he caught in the slips. And there's a chance. Gone fine for runs. That's well placed. Wrong line from Colin Grandeom. Down the wicket, down the ground. And one bounce four. The keeper was up to prevent Imam from doing exactly that, coming down the track. But didn't make a difference. Chance, yes it is. It's taken Colin de Grandom. False shot and the pace of Lockie Ferguson has struck. And that is not a happy face whatsoever. Imam battle is out for 34. It's 71 for four. Oh, is that another one? It is. Williamson takes the catch this time. Shoaib Malik 
looking to advance down the track, hit De Grandom over the top, didn't get enough of it. Pakistan lose another. Shweb Malik out for 30, it's 73 for 5. Big appeal! Don't have a review. I can't think he's nicked the ground. I don't think he's actually nicked this. Wow. Shadab Khan gone for seven. It's 85 for six now, Pakistan. As easy as you like. It was in the air. Oh. Safras. First one for him, is it? Yeah. A good start of the orbit for Pakistan. Down the ground. And all the way for six. Right at the camera. That is such good placement from the skipper. 50 comes up for Safraz. It really has been one fighting knock from the skipper. Extremely well played. Right, in the slot and put away very nicely by Safras. 100 partnership comes up. He's not happy, he shouldn't be. Safras pounced on it immediately and put it away. Yeah! Oh, bowl him. Oh, massive strike. A pull shot through mid-wicket for four. He has to go now for 64. It's been a fine innings from the Pakistan captain. Was it... Uh waste time but again it's falling safe half century to the left hand of Ahmad was seen yep. oh a little cracker the Gronholm with big hands wraps them lovingly around the ball and Ahmad wanting to be cute is gone. Pakistan 1 to 19 for 8. It's a slower ball down the throat. Taken. Oh, he's close to the boundary. Trent Bolt. Ninth wicket gone. Hassan Ali for 16. It's 2 1 9 for 9. Now it's all over. Ferguson has done it. He's picked up a couple right at the end to finish with three for 36. But, uh, can't blame Shaheen Afridi. He's there to open the bowling and get people out, and he did earlier in the day. But uh, in the end, New Zealand get home by 47 runs. And Pakistan bowled out in 47.2 for 219. Yeah. 12th ODI victory on the trot against Pakistan.